to see something sweet? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no is right. Good morning, sledders! It is going to be a wet, wet day today, it's looking like. You know how it is, no hotel room shenanigans on this trip. So let's go link up with our crew, because they might already be waiting for us, because we're slow and we like to stop and film and chat. Doing the morning dry of the socks and whatever else didn't fully dry out last night. Yeah, too bad we don't have that uh, wicked drying room that we usually get when we stay at last bike. That place, that place is awesome. So I'm still trying to dry some of my stuff out here. The moisture out. Oh, hold on here. We didn't uh, we didn't check the avalanche forecast for the day here. Let's let's check it out right now. All right, so things actually moved around a bit. We got a high uh, chance today here. So they changed that from yesterday. I'm just gonna go through this quickly. Same thing actually as yesterday. So we have a uh, persistent storm slab. That one's just recent. Um, and then we also have some older persistent slabs that are gonna be down there too. Uh, the area that we are going today doesn't really have much for steep terrain. It's not looking pretty. So we're really trying to just stay in the trees and just, I don't know, get, get away from uh, Get away from the flat light, really. Oh, I can see the snow bikers there. They're waiting for, they're waiting for me, you guys. They're waiting for us. Good morning. Yeah, it's wet. Yeah. <laughs> There's radio. Okay. All right, time to go, you guys. Let's go get wet. But we're not gonna get wet because we got this wicked CKX gear to keep us uh, nice and warm and dry all day long. We got an area picked out today that's going to be a little lower in elevation, so hopefully we'll have some visibility in the trees. Uh, but actually, as we're driving to this area, the weather's actually looking nicer over here, and we've been, we've been pretty damn lucky with the weather we've been getting on these really socked in days, so. Who knows, maybe maybe we'll actually see a little bit of, a little bit of shape on the mountain today instead of just a white oak. I forgot how uh, far of a drive this was in here to the uh, the back entrance into first beat. Oh, that's better. That's I was wondering why we were parking like this is some sort of jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> oh, there's sawdust in me boot, like some people would say. Good thing you're thinking of that right now, right? Yeah, I should have taken it into the room. Warmed it up, charged it. Pack and it's fully charged in the room. I got but like he doesn't little... have the post, so he'd have to rip his seat and everything off to get to it. Oh yeah. Do you have some mechanics wire? No. What do you need a mechanics wire for? Tighten the grip. Oh! Tighten the grip? Tighten the grip! Zip ties and bias She's a little loose. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty loose. <laughs> How's the ring ding dinger doing? Should we give her? Repairs in progress. How much fuel do you guys usually burn through in a day? Like liters wise, I guess. 
No idea. Yeah, I'd say we had 15 yesterday. Okay. Yeah, yesterday I had a full tank, and it's still. Yeah, mine was still two three. thirds of a tank. So, what? Mine's a bigger tank. I think well, I put. Mine's nine liters and I filled it. Yeah. Like empty it filled and it was probably still half full. I think mine's fourteen liters into this tank. That's, tank so. that's about half of what we burn. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go check on Sean over here while everybody's gearing up. Hi Sean! What are you doing? You're gearing up too. What are you doing all the way over here all by yourself? <sighs> Trying to get organized. How are you feeling today? Great. A hundred percent. Doesn't sound hundred percent. No, eh? <laughs> No. See the, the BMP tree smashers and in good shape here still. Have you smashed some trees? Uh, there's been a couple I brushed up on. The tree smasher, the BMP tree smasher on the front of the Alpha was doing its job yesterday too. Smashing through the willows. I decided to shut my mouth and get ready to go today. I saw that. <laughs> You're just over there yeah, doing your thing. I'm walking, I'm doing something easily. Yeah. Walking around with a coffee or whatever. Yeah, like an idiot. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> In your PJ pants. Yeah. How's the rest feeling today from rolling the handlebars a little bit? A little tender. Yeah? Yeah. I'm glad I don't have a thumb throttle today. So you're going to tighten these up or what? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, Sean, give us the Rocky Mountain weather report. Same as yesterday. Okay. <laughs> He's done. He's sick. He doesn't want anything to do with us. <laughs> Looks like the guys are warming up their machines and we get to go up the mountain. Um, we chose the right place to go. We chose the right direction today. <laughs> Sean being... <laughs> Chose the right direction today, and we maybe can see some sun. I say that every time, and I've had pretty good luck saying it. Feel for you guys with the hair in the eyes. I like it. All aboard the Alpha Express. sale would have been worse probably right oh yeah yeah that place gets it way worse this is not bad at all yeah he's coming he's out here doing it he's going he don't care <laughs> all right do you guys remember this place this place is the place I threw the shock out of the side of the Alpha. It was this beat up trail that did it. Issues. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what do you got going on? Uh, something very interesting. Okay. I'll uh, turn around, I guess, from the left. Yeah, uh, I need to go back to the truck. Is it fixable? Maybe, not today though. Okay, how far back are you? I'm not far back, but this thing is pooched. Okay. Well, I'll come have a look anyway. 
Wow. Oh my golly. What happened here? What's going on? The rear the wheels are all the way up there. Huh. This place is hard on alphas. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. How are we gonna tow this one out? Here comes Sean. The moment I talk about how uh, I had a failure last time, I have a failure again. You wanna see something sweet? <laughs> oh no! Oh no is right! So that is uh, in the wrong place. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Do you like that, Sean? Do you like how I, I wreck it here? <laughs> oh man! Oh no, Matt! That looks like... Uh, some body work again. Do you like how I snowmobile? We're back here like 200k or 200 meters. 200k back here on the trail. Well, it looks like a tow back. It's gonna be a tow back, buddy. <laughs> you need a hand? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Or do we just drag it like that? I think what we're gonna have to do is put it on mine backwards. Or, that'd be a hard drag, but we could just tie your ski loops to my running boards. Do you wanna try dragging it a little and then we'll just see how it goes and we can change up the plan? I do have my tow ropes with me. Yeah. That's, I've, um, 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 maybe you hit one of them. Well, wicked daughter kills. <laughs> no, I was just driving and talking a little bit, and pop! I thought it was a belt right away. Did you? Because it just felt like a belt. Because it just stopped, yeah? It just stopped me, yeah. No more go go. No more go go. Uh, let's see what the snow bikers think. How about you? You want to see something cool? That is pretty gnarly. You like that? How the idler wheels are all the way up front there? Yeah, how many, it looks like there's like three rivets to hold that on there. That's BS, man. Sean, do you like my wheels? They're very much where they need to be. That's right. That spins good. Could we like yank the track to the side and What's just pull me off down on my, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. I think you're still gonna catch up here. Three rivets or two rivets? Four. I think. Four rivets. And this is just your adjuster. Yeah, one. It looks like two, man. Two. Well, there'll be two on the other side too, right? So yeah, four, but... four rivets. Yeah. Ratchet strap. Oh, like a ratchet strap? Ooh, I don't know if I have that. I might be able to hold it. You can just hold it far enough back, and somebody can. I don't know how you're gonna run your zip ties. That's like pretty good right there. If I hold it, come up through here, like go down through there, and then around here. You ride all day like this, man. Yeah, you probably could. Some, man. You get another strap going in there. <laughs> ride with the zip ties, holding the skid together for the day. Yeah. 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 Be high marking all day. Yeah. Just fine, Less man. weight. <laughs> just fine. Yeah, yeah, get get rid of those <laughs> aluminum rivets and put some zip ties in. That's that's way better. Junk. It's junk. I'm yeah. gonna put real hardware in there. If we had Ben here, we'd have so much haywire on this thing. Oh, there you're talking. Benjamin loves his haywire. Watch your eyes with these. But yeah, you got some tails there. Over, back over. That should be good. All right, she's a little loose. She's a little loose. Okay, right. thanks buddy. Thanks, thanks for the ride. ride. Nice Thank meeting you, you and all that. Hopefully you had some fun. Oh yeah. Got to see some trail and second time I'm limping this thing off this hill. Yep. <laughs> One day I'll get to ride this mountain. Yep. <laughs> you probably 
probably haven't been up there in a while. Uh, no, I keep trying. Here we go. This is what she looks like. And we're gonna see if the Alpha can get down the hill under its own power. Chances are that took out my belt. We're gonna find out here very oh, okay. shortly. Come on down. Belt's gone. What do you mean? Come here. Come on down. That track locked up so hard. Oh man. <laughs> that, that destroyed it, it. It shredded that belt. Uh, okay. You don't have one, do you? I do have one. That. Okay. Well. What are we going to do, Matt? What are we going to do? I, sh I should just maybe try to quickly change the belt. That'd probably be better. Okay. I grab my case off my sled and set it on there. Yeah, maybe maybe do that. Grab, yeah, yeah, grab that. So, how tough is this going to be to change? <laughs> We're gonna find out. Yeah, because I mean, I don't have to put all the guards and stuff back on. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna come out sideways, and there's a bunch of ice in there. Okay. Okay. Alpha is all back together. We got a new belt stuck in it. The quick drive belt saved us, eh, Sean? Yeah. Or else maybe chain case, maybe, well, we'd be towing and it would suck. So hopefully, this thing now, with all the ratchet strapping, can get out under its own power. Okay. Let's see what else happens here. Let's do take two. Take two. The belt will hold together. Hopefully it's... the skid does. I hope you got enough. Yeah. Let's Man, take... I have skid problems all the time. Yep. Now watch, the rope's going to rip out. No, it's not. Ah, oh, that switch! <laughs> He's not happy. It's working! Excellent. And we're taking him back down to the truck. Alright, looks like uh, things are holding together, but we're gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna take it nice and easy here. I just got to throw a little bit of snow into my heat exchanger here. I'm still on the way. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, going to start up and try to go a little further. Oh, the truck is right there. Look at that. Better than trying to toll. Well, that feels weird. <laughs> Ready to ride for the day? Well, <laughs> I'm not done, but I think the Alpha is called or quit. How did, uh, how did it hold up? Uh, I don't think we lost a single zip tie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, We're good uh, to go. Let me... Before you go, maybe uh, let, make sure I make it onto the truck. Yeah. And then you're free to go. 
Oh, the truck was right there and I decided to stop. I was like right there. I didn't realize how far it was. I probably just could have kept coming. Kill switch. I release you. <laughs> well, thanks for the escort. Oh. I am good from here. I just wanted to have a little bit of a hand when this blew up and I couldn't get the lock track on my truck. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Steal a little bit of fuel. I thought you were always for putting my av gas on this. What changed? No, well, I wasn't. That's Benjamin. He wants us. He likes to smell. Oh, he wants power. He likes to smell of it, I think, ignore what it is. Yeah, well, it does smell. I love inhaling all that low lead fuel. All right, you go link up with those guys again. Yeah. You gotta give me a nice womp it. Pew! <laughs> we'll see you later, you dork. See you, see you in the next video, I don't know. Bye. Well, luckily enough, this was only a two-dayer, so it was actually go home today anyway, or else I'd be in the uh, parking lot wrenching on it uh, right now, so. We'll get that back to the shop. That's ridiculous. <laughs> we'll get that back to the shop. And guess what, you guys? More bulletproofing alpha skid videos, again. I don't know how many there are, there's so many. I can ratchet to this, right? The ZRP brace isn't gonna break. The BMP brace isn't gonna break. Our tip, our forward brace isn't gonna break. Our upgraded skid bolt isn't gonna break. Our TKI wheels aren't gonna break. The stupid Arctic Cat Alpha Skid suspension rail. That's only given me, wow, I've wrecked a few of these now in different ways. It's given me issues. That's how tight your track should be. This is about the right deflection, guys. Well, lucky us, lucky us, okay. Alpha, that is your real name. Let's get you back home. Get to the garage work on you there. Okay, put on your seat belts, everybody. Just got a quick stop to make, put some fuel in the pickup. We're gonna book her on back home, back to Alberta. We'll get that sled unloaded, and we'll do the Rocky Mountain Damage Report. Pull into the Big Eddie here, and get ourselves a little bit of fuel so we can make our voyage. What was that? Oh, clutch puller. So we'll go by, I guess we've got a few stops, go by the hotel because the original plan was actually ride today and then um, drive home tomorrow, but yeah, I listen to podcasts. Um, where was I? I don't even remember. Let's go uh, food place and stop, whatever. Okay, I'm just going to go in, uh, change real quick, grab my stuff, check out. You, you stay right there. You're back. All right. I am now in my uh, my ski doo shirt, my ski doo jersey. I'm sure I don't have to explain why. I said one stop. There's there's like okay, there's, there's one more stop. We're checked out of the hotel. So really, basically, it was um, it was really just sit in the hotel room for another day and then leave in the morning because we're, we're not riding tomorrow, um, or just leave today. It's like it's not even noon. That's right, get McDonald's. Don't care. Don't care. All right, sorry for the ride video, you guys. Um, yeah, we, we didn't get a lot of riding in today. We made it a total of two kilometers, actually, on the trail. But at least we broke down in a good spot. And that's, that's honestly, that is part of this sport. So breaking down and being prepared, like we had all those tools and everything so that we could change out that belt. We had zip ties. We could... Uh, just get that uh, that adjuster and idler wheel assembly clamped up again, and that that's that's part of being prepared out here. So that was it took us maybe about an hour, maybe a little more, and first time I had uh, actually ever changed the quick drive belt on that thing. So that's done now too. That part kind of sucks because those belts are like super, that's the most expensive part of that is that belt because I don't think I actually need to order any parts. I just need to uh, I just need to fix what's there and fix it better. I'm probably gonna take that and get it welded. Man, the research and development that I have done on an Alpha Rail. Oh, I don't know why Articat doesn't pay me. 
Because I have wrecked almost everything that you can wreck on the Alpha Rail, or at least prepared for the wreck. So first off, bent one. Second one, the shock fell out the side. On that same hill, right as I was mentioning, this just happened to me on that same mountain. We had the BMP um, forward brace installed before that one could become a problem. We also had the, uh, what is that thing, a ZRP mount. All this stuff's from APS, by the way. I got, I got everything from APS to upgrade that skid. They've been great. They've been sending me all sorts of stuff just to keep it together. A video a couple days ago that I, uh, I put up, you guys noticed that sled that was sitting in the garage. Um, I, I have a video that's shot but not prepared yet for it. How about this? If this video gets... What do we even get for likes on a video? Like what? What do we get? Ah, okay, that sucks. Um, okay. If today's video gets, let's call it a thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If today's video gets one thousand likes, then I will upload that video two days from now. Yeah, that that would be like the soonest I could do it because I already have uh, another video planned out for the day before that. Uh, you guys have been loving the, the constant content, and I've been having tons of fun with it, so that's great, you guys. I honestly don't know how I'm going to do it because I'm going to be so busy, but if you guys can get this video to a 1,000, then I will go ahead. I will just, I, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll figure out how to do it, but you guys got to do your part, too. All right, that's that's it. Let's let's head back to Alberta. Let's see. We got to take apart the Alpha now, so we, we, got, we got like a whole bunch of sleds to fix, so we're back into the fix it mode here at Six's Backcountry. Usually we end up peeling out of Revelstoke on like a, uh, a really nice sunny day where you really want to be riding and it's warm and the snow is deep and all that. But today we're heading back to warm, sunny, dry Alberta. Oh yeah, it is wet here. What are you guys doing? Buckle up, put your seatbelt on. I'm not gonna have you go flying through the windshield again. Kind of happening. Spirit. Why is that guy going down the highway on a bicycle? Just went through Golden there. We're going to Ten Mile Hill. This is where they've been doing um, construction, literally cutting the road into the side of a mountain for the last what two years. And this is what sometimes uh, causes us like, like to, it's like an hour and a half to go around. Oh yeah, they're still peeling away out here. They're gonna be done this project here soon, I think. Getting a lot nicer here as we get closer to Alberta for once. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm around the clampers, guys. We're at a full stop on the highway. All right, well that sucks. We were making good time. Park it is. Well, I was gonna give uh, Mr. Friend Mr. Chow a call, but where we're sitting right now, there's no service. Beautiful view though, to be stuck by an accident. Yeah, we're not moving. Well, I better uh, just get out there, clean the mirrors, check the rigging. That's good, we see brake lights. We're moving. Wow, that's... Uh... That was a 20 minute stop there. This is actually, well, it's not just this road. It's just like this 400 click section of road here um, that goes through the mountains. When you drive this one, more often than not, you see a semi overturned in the ditch. Like it's, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely more often I see it than not. Uh, not so bad in the summer, but definitely the winter, but the summer too. Oh yeah, just like I said, just like I, just like I called it. Ooh. Just like I said, what did I say? Hopefully, hopefully everybody's all right in there. The cab looked okay. Looked like it's seen a little bit of trees, but the cab looked intact. Hopefully everybody's okay. Okay, we are just about back to the homestead. Um, it's just about dark here, but got to do a whole drive in the daytime, but I'm feeling about some dirty headlights. All right. Oh uh, yeah, that would that would do it. 
Oh, those were some dirty roads. Yet somehow, the Alpha remains clean. All right, next stop, home. Hey, there we go. Now we can see. All that good. Look at this thing. Look at it. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna deal with this today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with this thing later. I'm gonna take it in and get it washed. Yeah, I'll probably take that thing in tomorrow, get it washed, and then we will assess the damage on it and see what we need to order to get it operational again because I need it right away. I'm gonna wrap up this video here. That's it for that little trip, but don't worry. I'm gonna be back with the fellas right away in the next video. So on behalf of myself, Ben, Sean, anybody else here at Sixes Back Country, um, thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon. Nice womp it today, womp it. And remember a thousand likes. See you, see you uh, soon, I guess. Bye. Well, as I'm just wrapping up the video here, I get a text from Sean, and uh, looks like the Polaris is going back to the dealer too, so it's, it's not just us. Don't feel so bad about the Alpha now. <laughs>